The first thing you need to set up is double tap to unlock with face. It's probably the fastest way that you're gonna be able to unlock the OnePlus 7. For this, first, of course, you're gonna to need to make sure that you've got face data and then make sure that this option is selected. Then go back to buttons and gestures and go into quick gestures. You're gonna to have to enable double tap to wake. The second one is to quickly launch your camera so that you never miss a shot. And you can do so by just double tapping the power key. And it doesn't matter if you are on a locked screen or if you are, you know, just on the home screen or any other app, just double tap your power button and it's going to launch the camera. To do that, you'd have to go into buttons and gestures and there's a setting called quick turn on camera. It's going to be off by default. You're gonna to have to go in and enable that. The next one has to do with quick launching certain actions that you do repeatedly every time you unlock your phone. It could be composing an email or it could be driving directions to work or to home or just opening your favorite messenger like WhatsApp or taking a video. And whatever you wanna do, just leave it on that and it's gonna open it. Now to enable this, you're gonna to have to go into utilities and then go into quick launch. Turn it on and then you can get inside the shortcut settings and you can place a, you can reorder them or you could select your own shortcuts. There are quite a few useful ones over here, so go ahead and explore. Or you could also select some applications that you want to launch. Next, I don't know about you guys, but I use notification shade a lot to get into my quick settings and hence reordering which setting to have first is very important for me. So the first six ones are the ones that I really use a lot. So location, for example, was one that I had to move up, flashlight being another. So yeah, just make sure that you have the first, the top six priority ones up front. Also, there's a screen recorder now, but there are a couple of settings that you must change so that you can get the best quality recording. First is your bit rate. Make sure that it's all the way cranked up to 20 megabits per second, basically because your OnePlus 7 and the 7 Pro can very easily do that. And then you can also crank up the resolution to 2340 by 1080 pixels, so you get the most crisp video quality. The next thing is showing touch operations. It's going to be turned on by default. You're gonna to have to turn that off so that it does not record your finger touches. And audio source, this is probably the most important thing, is that they now allow you to record audio that's being played from the system, which no other app does. Quick gestures is probably the most underrated and least talked about things on the OnePlus, but it's amazingly useful. You know, drawing a V can turn on flashlight, drawing an O could open the camera. Drawing an S can open the camera in selfie mode. All of this is just so instantaneous. It's stupid to not use it. Go into buttons and gestures, go into quick gestures, and you're gonna have a few options in front of you. Most of them are going to be turned off or they're gonna have none, but go ahead and assign them something. Trust me guys, use it just about for two, day, two days or three days. Actions that you use the most and you're gonna get used to it. Also, while you're in quick gestures, make sure that you enable flip to mute and three finger screenshot. By the way guys, you could just double tap on an empty area on the home screen to lock your OnePlus 7 and the 7 Pro. Long press on home screen, go into home screen settings and turn on double tap to lock. It's going to be turned off by default. Also this shelf setting is switched off in my phone because I did it. Let's say if it was on accidentally, I used to come to this shelf screen a lot of times very annoying. I turned it off in my home screen settings and I never have to see its face. Now, a lot of you might already know this, but if you head into utilities, there's something called as app lockers. So the OnePlus has its own feature that allows you to lock your apps and they can only be opened if you know the pin or using fingerprint sensor. So let's say I lock WhatsApp and I launch WhatsApp. It's gonna ask me for my fingerprint or for the pin. Now, if I unlock it once, I don't have to unlock it again and again. So I did that. And then now if I open WhatsApp, it's just gonna open without. So there has to be a certain time difference or you must have at least locked your phone once and it's going to ask you again. Also, you would have been noticing that I'm just using gestures to go back to my home screen or you know to access recent apps. That's called navigation gestures. A lot of you probably already know about it, but if you don't, it's the fastest and the most convenient way to navigate, to use your back your recents and your home actions. To enable this, you go into your settings, go into buttons and gestures, and hit navigation bar and gestures. You're probably gonna be uh, on either back home recents or back home. You're gonna have to switch to navigation gestures. Right below that is a small tutorial that's gonna help you get acquainted with it. 
Use it for a day and you would never be able to switch back. So that's it guys from me on the OnePlus 7 and the 7 Pro. Things that you need to do to quickly get started, make the most of your phone. So these are just a few setups and customizations that you need to do on the OnePlus 7 or the 7 Pro. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.